Hi, my name is Gray Jones. A little bit about me and my qualifications. I'm a reality TV editor, colorist, and writer, and also post-production consultant located in Toronto. By February 2012, I will have edited and or produced 169 TV episodes, 40 webisodes, and 159 podcasts. That's 223 hours of content, and a good percentage of that in high definition. I'm what you would call a power user, and I'm constantly researching the highest performance systems. In this week's video tips, we're going to be looking at the TurboBox PCI expansion enclosures by NetStore, specifically the TurboBox Rack and TurboBox Pro. I should mention that NetStore is a sponsor of the podcasts that I do. Um, that said, this is a completely fair review of their products. I have been using the TurboBox Rack in my home studio and uh, have been really putting it through its paces. But anyway, what is a PCI expansion enclosure and why would you need one? I'm going to start with the, with the Mac side of things and I will get to the PC side of things. Mac Pros, I feel, are an excellent, excellent workstation. Very, very powerful, very, very reliable but they only have four PCI slots, specifically PCI Express. And why is that an issue? Well, just say, for instance, the Mac Pro doesn't come with external serial ATA. So you can add it by adding a PCI Express card. The Mac Pro does not have USB 3. So you can add it by adding a PCI Express card. One of your card slots is taken up by your graphics card. Usually it's a double width card. So because there are only four slots on the, the Mac Pro, what if you want to add a couple more? Say, for instance, a capture card like the ones by Blackmagic. I use a Blackmagic Decklink Studio card, which actually takes up two slots itself. And what if you want to add, say, for instance, a storage controller like the ones from High Point? I use a High Point Rocket Raid 4320 with an internal to external adapter. And all of a sudden, that's a whole pile of slots. And then you also have issues with speed. Say, for instance, ones like a, a serial ATA or a USB 3 might only need what's called one lane of bandwidth. But you might have RAID cards that need eight lanes, which means they need a lot more bandwidth. Uh, they may even only fit in a certain type of slot, what's called an 8x or eight lane slot. And Another huge factor is something called um, GPU acceleration or um, CUDA technology. And you'll see programs like Adobe's After Effects and Premiere using this acceleration. Uh, if you're setting up a color grading suite using a Blackmagic DaVinci, you're going to need this kind of GPU acceleration. And what that means is it's using the graphics card usually a big fat double width card to number crunch for your program so that you can get much greater performance. That lets you handle bigger uh, file sizes, higher definition video, uh, even stereoscopic video for doing 3D and uh, working with cameras like the Red Cam. And adding this acceleration means you need to add slots. Well, something like a Mac Pro, you're stuck. You only got four. PC users, you're not necessarily safe. You might have seven slots, but what if three of them are only single lane bandwidth? Um, what if the orientation of your slots means that double width cards are blocking important lanes or important slots? And so um, I've had PC workstations that were just as limited because of the, of the way that the slots were oriented. So in comes NetStore, in comes a PCI expansion enclosure. And what it does is you, you basically plug a PCI Express card into one of your sockets in your computer. Say so we'll take a Mac Pro as an example here. So you've got your, your regular graphics card, what's called the GUI card for a graphical user interface, They're your regular monitors, that'll be plugged into your bottom slot. And then your second fastest slot, you'll connect a card that goes to an external enclosure like the NetStore TurboBox rack here. And it basically just gives you a whole pile of slots. You've got six additional full PCI Express slots. You can accommodate up to four double width graphics cards, which is unbelievably amazing. Um, or you can just 
install a whole bunch of stuff. Say, for instance, in mine, I've got, I've got a serial ATA card. I've got a Matrox H264 accelerator. I've got a high point rocket raid. And again, I, with the internal to external adapter, I've got a, a battery backup for that that I wasn't able to fit inside my Mac Pro. And it's amazing. You don't even have to install a driver. Uh, according to your computer, all your computer knows is that it all of a sudden has a whole pile more slots. Now, technically, the, the TurboBox units are um, rated for what's called PCI Express 2.0, which is a, a newer PCI Express technology. And in, on the Mac side, uh, the older 2006 and 2007 Mac Pros are limited to uh, the PCI Express 1 technology. And then I believe it was in 2008 they came out with PCI Express 2, which uh, you've, you've got more bandwidth features there. But interestingly, I've been testing this NetStore uh, TurboBox rack for a couple of weeks now on a 2006 Mac Pro. It's a Quad 3.0, and it's been working great. I've seen no limitations for bandwidth. Uh, I'm using a 24-bay hard drive enclosure um, with some pretty big raids connected to this High Point Rocket Raid uh, 4320 card, which is one of the fastest cards that that, uh, that High Point makes. And I've seen no limitations of bandwidth. It works perfectly. No hiccups. Nothing. Uh, it's a very attractive enclosure. It's very light for a rack mount enclosure. I've had a number of rack mount enclosures before. And one of the first things that I always have to do is pull out the fans and install new quiet fans because these things are often like wind tunnels. They're so loud. One of the things I love about this net store, I powdered up, tur turned it on. They use quiet fans. <laughs> so I didn't have to replace the fans. Now, see, I did need to replace the fans. They're what's called hot swappable. So I can easily pull them out and replace them if I need to, even while the unit's still running. I usually wouldn't do that. I would usually turn it off. But hey, it's nice to know that I could do that. Uh, another thing about the net store is that it's very easy to open and install the cards. Now, one gotcha that I would mention, uh, it's not a big thing, but there's a little bit of metal on the end of each of the PCI slots when you get the net store initially, and they're a little bit hard to remove. What I would do is take a slotted screwdriver, stick it in the groove, and then gradually go back and forth, work it back and forth until you feel the metal start to give, and then you can pull those out. Not a big deal. Just wanted to mention that. Um, but other than that, these things just, it's plug and play. You you put in that PCI card. You install your cards in the turbo box. You turn it on. And according to your Mac, you've got all of these extra cards. Now, one comment, one question you may have, you may say, well, I don't understand. This connects to an 8X PCI Express slot in your computer which gives you eight lanes of bandwidth. How is it that I could say, for instance, install four double width, 16 lane cards, and they're all fitting through this eight lanes? Well, the idea is that even though technically these, these cards that you might install are rated for a certain bandwidth, it doesn't mean that they're necessarily hogging that much bandwidth at any one time. Even for these CUDA cards, they take instructions in then they do a whole pile of number crunching in the card, and then they send data back. So they're not necessarily using that entire pipe at any one time. And what I've found as I've installed these, these cards, they, they play well with each other. Even for really high performance uh, needs, they, they share that bandwidth really well. And, and really, eight lanes of bandwidth is 40 gigabits of information. Uh, we're not doing a whole lot yet, most of us, that can fill that kind of bandwidth. So say, for instance, you're a, a gamer and you want to um, install multiple graphics cards for, for, uh, for greater gaming performance, whether you have huge graphic um, needs and you're using something like Adobe's Premiere Pro or After Effects, whether you're doing color grading with Blackmagic DaVinci, whether you have a lot of storage and you need to install multiple RAID cards to access a number of enclosures, these TurboBox units just work. They're attractive. They're very light. They're quiet. They're easy to use. Um, there are some 
options available. You can uh, choose a, a 1000 watt power supply. That's if you're if you're planning on installing a number of um, GPU cards, or you can get a more modest 400 watt power supply if you're just using, say, for instance, RAID cards that don't have um, that don't need a lot of power. For the TurboBox Pro, you can get a short one and a half meter cable connecting to the the unit, or you can order a three meter cable um, if you have to have it a little further away. So the the, the short one is one and a half meter, the uh, the long one is three meter. And for the TurboBox rack, you have the option of going up to a five meter cable, so that can be helpful. Say, for instance, if you have it in uh, an adjacent room, or if you have it further away from your workstation. But all in all, I've been putting this thing through its paces and it just works. They're very inexpensive uh, relative to the other PCI expansion enclosures that are out there. And I can't see any reason why you wouldn't want to use a TurboBox by NetStore. You can find them at netstore.com.tw. Go to the products page and look for TurboBox. You can find all of the options there. Highly recommended. This has been Video Tips with Gray Jones from the TV Writer Podcast. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.